Hey guys, I'm Lily Michelle, and today I'm going to be doing my July wrap up. For July, I read eight books, and I'm in the middle of another four that I've started in July. Not to mention, I DNF'd two books this month. I have read at least 14 books this month, not including like an art book or two that I glanced at. The first book that I finished in July was Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Uh, I read these a few years ago and I really loved them and I randomly got the hankering to read them again. So I started with this one and then I followed up by reading Scarlet's. <laughs> um, and then I followed Scarlet up by reading Grass. <laughs> so um, yeah, I read the first three books in the Lunar Chronicles trilogy this month. Um, I wanted to read the fourth one, I just didn't. I kind of want to do a review of them, but also I'm like, I don't really want to read the fourth book. <laughs> My um, season of wanting to reread these is over, so we'll see if I pick up the fourth book in August or not. The next book that I finished in July was Beauty by Robin McKinley. So this was on my TBR for the summer and I thought that I would actually probably take a lot longer to read this and I read it in like a day or two. I actually, I really enjoyed this. Um, I gave this one, I think, I gave this one a five star rating. I'm pretty sure it might've been a 4.75 star. Basically it was up there. This was a really sweet book. It was really cute. And it didn't develop at all how I thought it was. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it's more accurate to the original fairy tale than it is to the Beauty and the Beast fairy tale that Disney made. So I really did enjoy that and it was a fun story. The main character wasn't necessarily drop dead gorgeous. She had two sisters and it was a lot about perception. She gradually came to have the same perception as the beast. At the beginning she couldn't hear or see any of the servants in the castle and as she stayed longer at the castle she gradually began to hear them and her perception of the world changed as did her perception of herself. So it was actually really interesting and I really enjoyed it. It's a very cute book and it's a short read. It's like it's 250 pages. It's so highly recommend. Really cute book. The next book that I finished this month was Path of Daggers by Robert Jordan. I'm working my way through the Wheel of Time series. Everybody tells me I need to read it, so I'm reading it, and um, everybody is right. It's a great series. However, I've just entered the slog, so it's slow going at these points. So um, thankfully I have this book. I almost didn't have this book. My brother is reading the series as well, and he's on the book before this, and he almost took it with him when he left. So. I have it today. Anyways, um, I gave this one a four out of five stars. This wasn't as interesting as some of my favorites in the series, but it still was really good. Honestly, I wanted Matt and he wasn't here. So that was disappointing, but I enjoyed it. I'm enjoying the series and I'm working my way through. This is also on my summer TBR. So I meant to finish this in June and I didn't. My bad. The next three books that I finished, I don't actually have physical copies of. Um, I read them on my Kindle. So the first one was Desperate Fortune by Susanna Kearsley. And um, that one I gave a five out of five stars. Great book. It was wonderful. I loved it. It was super cute. And um, it's like historical fiction and it's set in Paris. That one is about a girl in France who's working her way from Paris to, I think she ends up going to Italy to Rome. And it's about her pretty much helping a man disguise himself because he's a wanted criminal. The next book that I read was The Maze Runner and that one I gave a three out of five stars because I didn't have the guts to give it a two out of five stars. So that was a reread for me and I didn't enjoy it that much. The next book that I read this month was The Queen's Poisoner by Jeff Wheeler. That one I gave a five out of five stars. That one is a fantasy book based off of The War of the Roses and the question apparently that the author asked is what if, I think it was Richard and Henry, what if Henry Tudor did not beat Richard at a certain battle, I don't remember which battle, and what if Richard survived to be King of England instead of Henry. So the book basically, the characters are loosely based off of that historical concept and the book takes off and there's Fountain Blessed, it has a really interesting magic system and um, I enjoyed it. At the end there was a really sweet scene that I didn't expect 
and there's no real villain. It's not like this one guy is a villain or this other guy is a villain. It's just everybody's trying to live and they're clashing heads because they don't agree. Those are the other three books that I read on my Kindle. Um, I also started The Thief's Daughter by Jeff Wheeler. That's the second book in the King Fountain series, which The Queen's Poisoner is the first book. So I started that book. I haven't gotten very, I think I'm like 20% in. Probably won't finish it by the end of the month. I'll probably finish it in August and I might pick up the rest of the series. Who knows? So um, the next three books are um, books that I'm in the middle of, debatably. I'm more like 40, 30 to 40% in each of them. The first one is The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I should be farther in this than I am. I should have finished this by now, but I haven't. Um, and I am planning to finish this definitely in August. This is on my summer TBR as well. Um, it's a really good book. I just got stalled because I didn't do my daily reading and now I'm a little bit behind, honestly. The pages are starting to yellow and it's like, what is this book? Another book that I am currently in the middle of is Winter's Heart, is Winter's Heart by Robert Jordan. This is book nine of the Wheel of Time series and I'm like, I'm over 50% through. I'm trying, I'm planning on finishing it this, this week. Not sure if that'll happen, but I'm hopeful. My brother is going to be coming home in two weeks and by the time he comes home, he will have finished with Crown of Swords, which is book seven. So when he's finished with Crown of Swords, he will want Path of Daggers. And when he's done with Path of Daggers, he will want Winter's Hearts. And he reads faster than I do. A lot faster. So I'm pretty much, I've got a fire underneath me. I've got to finish this. I've got to be in the middle of book 10 before he comes back home again. So let's hope this can happen. I am really enjoying this, by the way. I'm loving it. Even though Winter's Heart is still part of the, the slog of the Wheel of Time, I think books eight, nine, and 10 are considered the slog where Robert Jordan kind of, it was a lot of setup for the end game of the series and it just feels like you're slogging through it. Um, I still really am enjoying it. It's kind of funny um, and mildly ironic. I relate to Brandon Sanderson in uh, Way of Kings, his motto, journey before destination. That's what I kind of feel like with this series right now. I'm just enjoying it, kind of moseying my way through. But as I get to the end, it's gonna, I have, I'm gonna have to pick it up really fast because my brother is gonna read them faster than I do. And we both wanna finish the series before Rhythms of War comes out by Brandon Sanderson later this year. Because come on, let's be honest, you can't be in the middle of one gigantic fantasy series and then pick up a new book from a gigantic fantasy series. You just can't do it. So here's to hoping. The last book that I am currently reading, and this is priority book for me, by the end of this week, I want to have this book finished. So that is Queen's Play by Dorothy Dunnett. I read the first 100 pages in two days, and this is like a 450 page book. I should be able to finish it by the end of the week. We'll have to see. I... I read the first book a few months ago and I loved it and it's just taken me a while to pick up the next book, but I love this series. Just you read it and you get immersed in the world of Francis Lamond and you just, you adore it. I, I'm in love. I am in love with this series. So um, yeah, I'm definitely planning on finishing this book this week if nothing else happens. This book, finish this book. By the end of this week, it'll be August. So I should finish this book in July. That's the plan. This book is full of politics and it's full of tricks and it's one series that I am okay to be duped in. And trust me, if you read this series, I don't care who you are, you will be duped at least once or twice by the author. And then you expect to be duped and then are you really duped anymore? And I'm planning on giving this book a five out of five stars. I'm not even like... I am a quarter of the way through and I already love it. So those are all the books. I do also have um, Ready Player One on my Kindle, which I've started and it's my kind of when I'm laying in bed and the lights are out and I have my Kindle Paperwhite with me, but I don't anticipate finishing that before August. I barely anticipate getting anywhere at all. It'll most likely be an August read for me. So those are all the books that I read this month. Let me know a book that you read down below in the comments and um, Thanks for watching. I feel like I probably shouldn't be done by now, but I'm done. Hit like and subscribe if you so feel like it, and I will see you guys later, hopefully with another book. Hopefully with another video, depending on how, you know, my discipline comes up. So thank you for watching.